the lord said according to the first corinthian chapter number 3 and verse number 21 that says therefore let no man glory in men for all things are yours this is the scripture that the apostle paul is said to the people we need to understand maturely by the spirit of the lord so we need to understand what are those all things when we come to the another scripture of verse number 22 then says whether paul or apollos or cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come all are yours so most of the people are depending on the other people most of the people are depending on the leaders most of the people are depending on the influence people but the scripture the whole mighty god is saying by the spirit all things are yours my dear brothers and sisters even though god said all things are yours most of the christians are still asking something to god those people are asking something for those people life to be blessed but god said all things are yours so all things which we need is not god's all things which we need is already existed in our spirit by the cross of calvary of the lord jesus in the same scripture and the verse number 23 and said and you are christ and christ is god so this is the powerful scripture and you are of christ and christ is of god so all things are possible but all things are yours because of all things are yours all things are possible so when something is of god it is highly impossible but when something is of you it is possible because of that formula god said that all things are possible that mean all things are yours so all things belongs to god is given to you what god belongs is what what you belonging so this is the accuracy of the scriptural dimension my brother and sister so when we are praying to god we are asking the money we are asking the prosperity we are asking the different dimension of the spiritual activities but the main thing we are already uh, we are we are not able to remember that god is given already to us so in the many scripture the lord of our god created the blessing in you already before you are born so these are the things we need to understand trustfully so i want everyone to keep attention because all things are yours and also the scripture is saying that all things are possible when you believe all things are possible it means all things are yours so don't need to depend on another person when you depend on god god provides you something so that everything shall be provided by the god itself so that you can enjoy the things of the almighty god but most of the christians are depending on the different situations on most of the leaders and most of the people but god is saying that even god is not saying that everything belongs to me so god said everything belongs to me in the old testament but the same god said everything belongs to you in the new testament so what makes a difference is the testament in the old testament god said everything belongs to the almighty but when we come to the new testament the lord of our god is saying that everything belongs to you so what happened in the middle there is a lord jesus christ so jesus christ has suffered for us jesus christ became poor because to become our riches so this is the formula that the lord has done for us to be blessed very powerfully so what god said is all things are belonging to the god in the same bible in the new testament the same god said that all things are yours through christ so we are believing the lord jesus christ when you believe in the christ everything is possible and everything is yours so now if we are saying that all things are ours how can we understand that how can i pray to the god in the in the in the book of matthew chapter 6 there is a scripture that jesus teached how to pray to the disciples but jesus never prayed what he teached so jesus teached the prayer to the disciples but the lord jesus never prayed like what he teached he prayed in the john chapter number 17 
So in the, in the Gospel of John chapter number 17, the prayer of the Lord Jesus will appear in the scriptures. But what the Lord Jesus teached a prayer life to the disciples is never done by the Lord. But the Lord is the Lord prayed in a different dimension. It is the own prayer life of the Lord Jesus. So Lord never asks something to God because the Lord Jesus, when he is on the earth, he just believed that all things are mine by the favor and by the grace of God. Even we have to believe that. By the blood of Jesus, by the grace of the Lord, all things are me, mine. All things are mine. Everything belonging to me. Because of the blood of the Lamb, because of the grace of the Lord Jesus, all things are belonging to me. But if we don't know the knowledge, the scripture is saying that all things are yours. But you are not able to experience what is the a uh, mistake that you are not experiencing all the things. It's a simple thing. You don't know the knowledge. A knowledge unlocks what God given to you. So don't pray that God, I need a money. Don't pray that God, I need something. No. God has already provided something in you. God has already given something to you. So what you have to pray that. So pray the word of God to get the knowledge of God because knowledge of God is the key to open what God has given to you. So if you want to experience what God has given to you, you need to get knowledge. For an example, if, if God is given a prophetic grace, if a God has given a prophetic gift to you, you need to get knowledge in order for a prophetic gift to get unlocked. So without getting knowledge, you cannot manifest in the prophetic gift. So in the same way, most of the things, even God is not saying that 90% I given to you. No, God is saying that all things I given to you. But we are not able to capture what God has given. We are not able to experience what God has given. The simple problem is we don't have a knowledge regarding what God has given to us. So dear brother, sister, if you reading the word of God, don't read the word of God as a word of God. Read the word of God as Jesus. So word of God is no more word of God. Word of God became Jesus according to John chapter 1 verse number 40. So read Jesus. Don't read word of God. Read the Lord. Read the life of God. Read the, the, read the spirit of God. If you read the spirit of God, spirit of God teaches you what is the wisdom to get unlock of the things of God. So most of the people are received the power. Most of the people are receiving the grace. Most of the Christians are just ready. They receive the anointings. It's good. But they don't know how to use. They go to the prayer mountain and say, still they are praying that God fill me with the power. No, you are already filled with the power, but you don't know how to use the power. Today I am releasing the grace so that that grace can make you to unlock the power of the prophetic and the power of what God has given to you in the name of Jesus. So my dear brother and sister, prepare not for the power, prepare for the knowledge. So if you are going to the prayer mountains, if you are going to do the fasting prayer, you don't need to pray for the power of the Holy Ghost because God has given, God has invested his power in you when you believed in the Christ through the different prophets of the Lord. But now, a man or any prophet cannot give you the wisdom through prayer. It is impossible fact. As a man of God, as a prophet, even as a Lord Jesus, I cannot give you the wisdom as I, lay and, as, I, as I lay my hand upon you. Because wisdom is not a gift. Wisdom is not a gift. Wisdom is not an anointing. Wisdom is itself, it's not an ability. You need to learn the wisdom. So God even, the Lord, when, you, when he prayed for you to get wisdom, you cannot get that. You need to learn in order to get the wisdom. So my brother and sister, we need to learn to get wisdom. Wisdom of God can come. Knowledge of God can come when you learn the things of God. If you don't read the Bible, you cannot get knowledge and wisdom so that you cannot use what God given to you. 
So brother, sister, everything belongs to you, but you are going and depending on the leaders. You are depending on your pastor. You are depending on your prophet. You are depending on your man of God. You are depending on your religious, but brother and sister, don't depend on those things. Depend on the word of the Lord. Word of the Lord is the knowledge of God that unlocks your divinity, that unlocks the goodness of God, that unlocks all things what God is deposited in you. So I believe today, knowledge is what we need today, not prayer. Every man can do prayer. Every Christian can do the prayers. They can do the fasting prayer. They can do the mountain prayers. They can do group prayers. They can do chain prayers, but they are lack of knowledge. If you are full of the knowledge, you can manifest in full of the spirit. You can manifest in full of the things of God. So my brother, I believe that you understand why, why, why I am not manifesting in the power of God. I am going to mountain prayer daily. I am going to the prayer daily. I am reading the word of the Lord daily. I am just doing the prayers every day, every day, morning time. I am just doing the prayer. I am filling with the power. I am filled with the Holy Ghost. I am filled with the different anointings. The man of God said, uh, the man of God released the power upon me. I am filled with the power. But without knowledge, you cannot use what you received from God. So my brother, what you received from God is not important, but how you are using so, so, what God has given, the power and anointing to the Lucifer, Lucifer is using that power. So that Lucifer became Satan. And also Lucifer became most popular angels in the kingdom of God before he became the Satan. What, what's the reason for the Lucifer to become the popular angel in the heaven? Simple, he have the knowledge. According to the... Uh, according to the uh, Jeremiah chapter number 20, uh, Ezekiel chapter number 28, 29, in the scripture there is a verse like, Lucifer have the full of wisdom. Because of the wisdom, the Lucifer uses the little power of God so that he become the populous angels. Not full of power he uses, but little power of God. He uses the little power of God, but we have the full of the power. Even if we have the full of the power, we are not able to use because we don't have the knowledge of the Almighty God. We don't have the knowledge of what we received. So people of the Christianity, most of the Christians are trying to get the knowledge of God. But they are missing the knowledge of what they are getting from God. So you need to get the knowledge of God and also you need to get the knowledge of what you received from God. Both are important in the spiritual access. So my brother, you need to understand what you received from God today. I specialize somebody in the mighty name of Jesus. Let somebody re receive the grace today as I pray for them. Let somebody receive the power of God like, like, like power of knowledge so that they can understand what is happening in the realms of the spirit. So that they can understand what is happening in them and so that they can manifest. They are going to manifest in the power of God and in the gifts of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I believe you can get it by the grace of God, by the grace of God. So I hope you people understanding what I'm trying to say that you, you need knowledge of God to, to, to be get maturity, to be used in the power of God, to be used in the gifts of God, to be used in the glory of God. So I hope you understand in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray. Amen, amen, amen.